Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm sure that we all agree that uh, Professor Soludo deserves yet another round of applause. Uh, let me say uh, that we really have, we're going to try and move as quickly as possible. We have very little time. But I'm going to invite the panelists to just make uh, five minute contributions each. Just five minutes. And then we might, I might pose a few questions. I have a few questions to ask Professor Soludo myself. And um, we might pose a few questions and try and get the discussion uh, going. I'll begin from um, his Excellency the Governor of Lagos State, His Excellency uh, Akimumi Ambode. Please, five minutes. Your Excellency the Vice President of Nigeria, uh, on behalf of all the progressive governors, I'd like to say a big thank you to Professor Solido. It's really a very difficult task to summarize what he has said in five minutes. But again, I will take just a little of the few things he has said and then be able to just wrap it around uh, what I will say, the governor's perspective from the professor's uh, economic uh, point of view. He, he said so many things, but again, I, I want to quickly say something here. There are 23 states being governed by APC out of the 36 states. For the very first time, of the 19 states in the northern part of the country, 18 are actually governed by APC. So it's only going to be state that it's not uh, APC. Two? And Taraba. Okay, good. But, you know, the, the issue is, for the very first time, we believe strongly that whatever it is that we want to see that is the insignia of progressivism in Nigeria, we should be able to see it in any of the states that is being governed by APC. What I want to put up here from all that they have said is there is just one economy in this country. So we need to, first of all, absorb that fact to say that there is nothing like private sector as against public sector. There is nothing like federal government as against, as against state government. We are all collaborating together to drive the economy of this country. So if that, in a nutshell, describes what Nigeria is and what it ought to be, we also want to say that government should be seen as an enabler, a platform that more or less you know, creates the enabling environment for the public sector to thrive. If we see ourselves as messengers to allow enabling environment to thrive, that means whatever it is that we are doing, we should do it in such a way that we create that enabling environment so that commerce, so that industry, so that our people can feel that sense of inclusion. And that's why all of us are here. We are making progress because we are there because of our people. And if we are there because of our people, it's just those basic little things that our people need that we should just go ahead and address. So if we say that the public sector, the private sector, the federal government and the state government, we are all in one set, it means that whatever it is that we're doing in terms of policy, whatever it is that we're doing in terms of what I now refer to as rearrangement, I don't want to use the word restructuring, we should now focus on people and that we should be people friendly 
and that's the only way we can just create inclusion. He had actually talked about, the professor also talked about something about the outside economy, the people who are actually dealing with terrorism, the people who are dealing in kidnapping. That's an economy on itself, and it's more or less, when you look at it fundamentally, it's the failure of the real economy itself that has not been able to integrate them into what we want them to be. And that's why in the idle sense, they've decided to create their own economy. So why do I say all this? We need to start looking at some changes that we need to make within and among ourselves as a government, irrespective of whether it is federal, irrespective of whether it's local government or state, that will now unbundle the potentials of each state, which is the cornerstone of the old message that this lecture tried to talk about. The need for all of us to decide once and for all, to unbundle the potentials of each state, take the comparative advantage of each state, fuse them together for the needs of our people. I, 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 just, I just know that maybe in the course of what we're saying, I can go to specifics. You know, one major example that he said is, look, governors are the owners of the land in their states, but underneath the land, even inside the water, the federal government is structured in a way that it controls those potentials. In a situation where the states are being spoon-fed, because I call federation accounts more or less like spoon-feeding, you, the, the federal government collects total revenue of VAT and various revenues on behalf of all of us and then make us to come to Abuja and more or less share it to us as peanuts, not allowing us to reach our potentials as competitive states individually because I can decide to be complacent and sit down in Lagos and wait for federation accounts every end of the month. But the, the, you, you find out that the template that we use in Lagos is to first of all close our eyes and just imagine that there's no revenue from oil. And that's why you see that we dissipate so much energy in doing other things and trying to tap other sources of revenue. And that's what other states ought to be encouraged to do. If we decide to freeze and say that we can change some policies or change some economic structure, that is, the federal government unbundles the potential of states, they will also start to do and create infrastructure that will are, are, allow investors to come to their states. That is the governor of Lagos State, Akiumi Ambode, uh, speaking at the Progressive Governor's Retreat taking place in Kaduna State, was one of a number of speakers from Niger, Sanfara, Bornu, Oshun, Ogun State, the governors who are there present, also the Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, and the host governor, Malam Nasser El Rafai. And the theme was building the economy of states and how to create an inclusive and sustainable economy. You're watching Channels Television. Please stay tuned for Law Weekly. This has been a live Channels Television event. Stay connected.